Um, definitely since the first day I got here, it was a little scary. And then having to move was, it was difficult, but being back is definitely nice. I'm getting, starting to get used to everything. I'll, well, I am used to everything now, pretty much. But there's always room to you know get better, get stronger, to make things a little easier, which I think everybody needs to work on. But overall, it's been really, really fun. Well, what, what are some things you've maybe had to learn uh, you know, making the transition? Uh, definitely getting used to bigger people, because where I come from, it's played a lot against a lot of small guys. So it's definitely intimidating at first. But once you like once you have a couple of days underneath your belt, it really is just it's the same as it was before. It's really not that bad. Like you said, your career just kind of started off on a weird note. You get hurt pretty early on as yeah. well. You moved around a lot. What have been some of the, the lessons you've learned from just the, what you've gone through so far? Definitely being patient. You know, you definitely wait, like and like waiting your turn for things. Is, it was something new for me. And but getting to play at first was awesome. And then getting hurt, that rehab was was hard. Mm -hmm. It was a long time. And then moving again, moving back to D line, and definitely you know, it's definitely difficult. But once you once you like understand that it's different, it's a process, it's a business. You got to get better to play. I mean, it makes it a lot easier. Do you feel like you're settled in on the D line now, or do you think you're still kind of they're trying to figure out what's best for you? I'm pretty settled. You know, they, I've I've had Coach Will's always told me that I'm versatile, and he like he always wants me to see where what I can do. But I think I've shown over like this spring that I can definitely like stick here for sure. So what has uh, your weight training and, and gaining weight and all of that process been like? You're already a big guy, but I mean, you've obviously put on a lot of weight since yeah. you've already been here. Oh, it's awesome. It's you know, some days are really rough. You know, having to restart warm up sucks, but overall, it's like it's cool. It's definitely cool to get stronger, and especially with my legs. I, like when I got here, I was I couldn't squat like, really anything, but now it's getting heavier, and it's cool. You know, it's nice to see progress in yourself and see others around you, especially get bigger. It seems like this year, especially, you guys have made a leap from the fall to spring as far as the body types oh, yeah. go. Uh, what was it about this off season? You think that I mean, other than guys just getting older and naturally bigger? I think coming in with a different mindset, especially after uh, my freshman year when we only won one game, coming in knowing that we had, like we have to get better and we have not seven wins isn't good enough, so we have to attack it even like more. But I think that really like changed people's like outlook on the workouts and how they attack it, and you can, it definitely shows people got really strong. Having played offensive line, does that make you understand the guys better that you're going up against? Oh yeah, for sure. One, like if you're struggling on something, in my opinion, on defense, and you kind of like you've played offense before, you kind of know how to like beat what you're struggling with in a way. But always, and then it, at the end, it comes down to like the talent of who you're going against. It could be harder, it could be easier. You never really know, but it definitely makes it easier to see what's going on and understand like when the double teams come and all that. It makes it like. Click, click better for sure. Coach Rules talked about getting one percent better, being the focus this spring, but also guys finding their individual traits, their strong suits. Where do you think you kind of fit? Where, where do you think your strong suit is right now, or what are you working towards? I would say my strong suit is more like being stout in the run game. I th I feel like I have to work on my pass rush a lot more because I'm because I'm I'm still kind of like developing that, and it's it, it's been inconsistent. That's something I really want to change. And I mean, we got plenty of time. Spring is the best time to do it, so. Might as well get it ready before the season starts. Coach O'Gam's got a few moves he can show you. Oh yeah, I'm, def I'm definitely narrowed down to just two I try and do, and <laughs> just working on those every day is definitely it's getting better. Yeah, it takes time though. How many has he got? What's that? How many moves does he have? Oh, he he he. There's like club rips, swims, counters, spins. I can't really spin. I I, I always fall <laughs> over my feet, but uh, no, he's definitely he's got a little he's got some like some stuff in the book, but he like you, you can see what you can do when he tries to narrow it down for you. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to make you like do too much. Are you playing several different positions on the D line? Or are you at one place mostly? Uh, yeah, I can play. I, I can play nose, and then I can play um, the edge. Some in some packages, but I think everybody can can kind of move around. I think that's the beauty of like what we do is being versatile. What have you noticed from uh, the, the, your teammates along the D line? We've talked about a couple of young guys in uh, Neadre. He's a newcomer, more so than a young guy, but uh, TJ as well. Uh, they're both well. They're both big kids. First off, TJ's at 280 pounds. That's, that's pretty big to like to start out as a, in your first spring in college, and he's definitely he's got like natural abilities. I think that suits him well. You know, like once once he gets older and he gets stronger, I think he'll he'll be able to develop like just sticking on blocks more, which is hard. I mean, it's never going to be easy, but and then Neandre, he's just a freak. He's so like it's freaky, it's ridiculous. But uh, yeah, he's he's more of a pass rushing guy, and I think once he like develops that motor to stick in there on run blocks, he'll be like unblockable. Is Logan working with you guys, or is he more linebacker right now? He 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 works in and out. Like he's he like they like to move. Like I said, like they move everybody around. So yeah. they just try you out and see what you can do. Especially in the spring, because 
numbers are really low, so they might move people around, but it necessarily won't stick at like a different position. Trying to find a Russian. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, what's it been like, just the relationship development with uh, Coach Ocam and also now Joe McGuire over there with you guys? Uh, Coach Joe's been great. You know, he's hard on us, which I which I really respect. I've told him that like I like it when like coaches get on me and stuff. I don't really, I don't take any offense to, you know, getting yelled at and stuff like that. He, he's just, he's great. He's a great coach and. Uh, Coach McGuire, I, he was my first coach when I got here. I was a tight end, and mm -hmm. like I've always had a pretty close relationship with him, and like I can definitely take criticism from him well. And like I like I'm not scared of that, and it's great because he like, he knows how to get to you and make you better, which it's, is very special. I didn't think about that, but you guys kind of started over here and then reconnected. Yeah, over it's funny. Here. He, that's the first thing he said when I saw him in the hallway. He's like he's like yelling about moving back to D line. Right. <laughs> it was pretty funny. You miss tight end at all? Uh, sometimes because what I did, I, I didn't really do too much. I just kind of did two or three things, so it was pretty nice, mm -hmm. you know. I practice like relaxing sometimes, but right. it's definitely nice to be in more of a, like a playing role. You guys yeah. lost some big contributors, uh, Greg, uh, Ira, uh, some others as well. How much, not pressure, but how much of, uh, of an emphasis there is taking over, picking up the torch, so to speak, and, and carrying on? Yeah, that was that was a big thing. Like when this, when the last game ended, like I, I went on a ride home with some guys, and we were just talking about like next season, like it's our turn, it's like we're next up. And those were they were great guys. They were great seniors. They like they were really good leaders. And like they, they got on us too. Like they weren't scared, just like the coaches to like expect more out of us. And I think that really like helped development of like me and Cheedy and a couple guys for like getting in like the right mindset going into this year to really be ready to play because it's our time. I should ask you about Cheedy. What, what do you see from Cheedy? Uh, Cheedy is a strong dude. First off, he's freaking like the weight room, and he can definitely get into you. Like he comes off the ball really well. And I feel like me like pass rushing is always something that we got to work on. But he can like he's really definitely like a stout interior defensive line that he can like he can he can really mess you up if he gets off well. All right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.